My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Hmm, very interesting. What have we here? Serana? Look at this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep in the necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I have no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. And what exactly are we looking for? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Your mother maintained quite a laboratory. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. And what did she research? Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. To what end? I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. <laughs> Yes, I imagine so. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. Well, I would imagine a journal would be here somewhere on the bookshelves. Hmm, here it is. 27th Last Seed. Harkon's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses to so much as listen to a word I say. I've become less of a wife and more of an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. 28th last seed. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul cairn properly by using a small sample of ingredients. Although the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident that with the proper formula, it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient, something of significant potency that can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters has proved worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance, whether I assure them a steady supply of souls or not. If I am to escape Harkon's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here, forever, if need be. Third hearth fire. I've done it. After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the portal. I'm listing the components below without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I'm combining my own blood into the formula, which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and following me into the soul cairn. 
The formula consists of finely ground bone meal, purified void salts, soul gem shards. Using the proper measurements, place the above in the silver-lined portal vessel and add blood as a reactive agent. I will make my way into the soul cairn tomorrow after I gather my things and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must exact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. Serana. I believe I've found your mother's journal. Any luck yet? Here. Here are your mother's notes. You did? Let me see them. What is this soul cairn she mentions? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Why did she care where used souls went? The Soul Cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. If she made it there, we'll find her. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. What do we need? A handful of Soul Gem Shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified Void Salts. Ah, oh, damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Well, you share her blood. Unless you're adopted. Hmm. Not bad. We better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Are all those ingredients here? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. We just need to find them. Here, finely ground bone meal. A Daedra heart just sitting here on the shelf. And a skill book. Ah, more information about alchemy. Take the bee. Here, soul gem shards. Well, you're certainly not helping to look for anything. Ah, fire salts. This is a well-stocked lab. Let me 
just make sure I don't have anything that I can disenchant. Alright. Fire salts, frost salts, void salts. And here, I think this is the final ingredient. Purified void salts. So you already sensed that I've gotten the ingredients. All right. Then the rest is up to me. Yes. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Can I ask you something first? Of course. What is it? What will you do if we find your mother? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. It sounds like she did everything for your sake. Possibly. I guess even a vampire mother is still a mother. She worried <laughs> about me. About all of us. But she wanted to get me as far away from my father as possible before he really went over the edge. We won't know until we find her. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Are we ready then? Yes, let's get that portal open. All right, here goes. Is incredible. All right. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Let's keep moving. see spirits and what is this strange thing some sort of soul husk who is this Ugh, there's the no smell escape here. let's try to handle this quickly talk to these spirits they may give us some clue as to where to go a soul gem that's what it was then i must be oh no then what's this seem to have absorbed it, whatever this is. And we have more of these soul husks. Is 
That's my vision. Yes, there. My vampire vision was making it much brighter than it actually is here. a sword against that necromancer the next moment I found myself here what happened hmm. as if I knew hmm, there's a chest See, this is why I'm going to need you, Serana. Where are you? Serana! I was hoping it wouldn't smell this bad. If you think it'll help. Yes. I do. All right. <laughs> so, Let's just find my mother and get out of here. You okay. like the bandits, uh, Katana, I see. Still alive and being drawn and quartered. I can't stand it anymore. Look out, something's coming. I can't remember how long I've been here. Has it been a day? Or a century? Probably more like a century. Let's keep moving. I feel like we're being watched. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Calm down. Who is Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. And just how can I help him? Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! Farewell. All right, I... Doesn't really answer my question, but let's keep moving. Yes, let's. I think you're paranoid. I don't know if we're being watched or not, but this probably isn't the safest place. I really don't know what th this does. For some reason, I'm enjoying it. All right, let's keep going. Uh-oh. 
What was that? Look. This must be Arvac. Who are you? I can't remember how long I've been here. Has it been a day? Or a century? <laughs> Many people are here saying that very thing. Look, here's another spirit. Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. And what's the matter with you? Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. How in the name of Zenithar was I to know the ingredients were for me? Do I look like someone that would double-cross a necromancer? Yes, actually, you do. So, is that how you got here? You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. How people would track me down just to see what I had to say. Got anything left? Very funny. <laughs> and what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. There must be something you want. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly, fungus-looking things growing out of the ground? Yes, I've picked some of them. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Fair enough. What do you have? Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather, before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If... You have the husks. I don't have them. No husks, no sale. Guess you have some scavenging to do. <laughs> you know, I'm really beginning not to like this place. All right, Serana, where are those explosions coming from? this place is that there is no one here whose blood I can drain. Uh-oh. Wait, it's that horse again. Do we need to follow it? Where'd you come from? Uh-oh, what now? It's not over. Okay. Now it is. Look out, more! What have you got? All right. Mother! It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it! How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. 
We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. You brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. <laughs> so how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Hmm. I've been keeping her safe. Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's why I'm here, for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What? What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. And how does Serana fit in? Like myself. Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. The tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Are you saying that Harkon means to kill her? If Harkon obtained Arya's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. Hmm. I would never allow that to happen. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? Um, that, that's probably a very good question. Uh, I'll, I, I'll need your help. Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. And Serana's option in this. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Oh, her you opinion. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana believes in me. Why won't you? Serana? This stranger may call himself a vampire, but he knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to him? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave oh. up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic ladies, you call a father. Ladies, please. Yes, he's, he's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes. The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us, but we have to stop him, before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me, but for Serana's sake, 
I'll assist you in any way that I can. Do you have the Elder Scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. What do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. All right then, we'll return soon. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevere roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. May I ask why you haven't pursued the prophecy? Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness, where the vampire can flourish, and never again fear the tyranny of the sun. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. What sort of attention? If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to normal. The Order of the Day would be our destruction, until every last vampire was hunted down and eliminated. So, you prefer living in the shadows? I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia, and the only way we can continue to survive in the future. Hmm. You do have a point. Vampires are already being hunted. If I leave the Soul Cairn, can I safely return? As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. Yes, ma'am. All right, Serana. You're being rude again. Pushing me while I'm talking to your mother. supposed to follow him somewhere. Well, that's certainly not going to work.
draining my life. Serana, where are you? Serana. Want my advice? Never welch on a bargain with the ideal masters. They don't take it very well. so much for protecting Serana. more of those soul husks. Oh no. And where is Serana? To, uh, is it Valyrica? I must head to these tall towers to bring down the barrier.
Was that it? Strange, there was only one light here. How do I open this gate? Better look for Serana. I'm not going to be able to carry much else without her help. Serana!